Over the last three years on YouTube, I have done many Adobe Acrobat Pro tutorial videos. I've done one about Bates Lee. I've done one about action wizards. I've done one about inserting hyperlinks and bookmarks into briefs. And today we're gonna learn how to handle fillable forms, fillable PDFs. Take that document from Word, export it to PDF and make it a fillable form. Maybe you have an intake or maybe you have a real estate document set and you enter the legal description in once and a few pages down that legal description automatically populates again without you having to retype it. It really just expedites the process of filling out forms. Or maybe you have this intake that you need someone else to fill out, but you wanna control a little bit more of the information that they put in it and how they put information in that form. You're gonna learn how to do all of that in today's video. So smash that subscribe button, click that thumbs up and click that bell notification feature so you get notified of each time I post a video on here. Without further ado, let's dive into things today. Here we just have a standard PDF document. I think this was something that I went to Word to get. I exported it to Acrobat Pro DC so I could read it as a PDF and manipulate it from there. Immediately when I look into my search tools in PDF, first of all, I always have this side pane open showing all of my tools. I've even customized this so that I get the tools that I need at a moment's notice because I'm using those same tools over and over again. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to type prepare. Now, I have a quick action here for prepare form, but I can also just type. I think that some people just go through those quick actions on the side and really search for what it is that they want when if they just type it in, you could find it much quicker. So I'm gonna click prepare form and it's gonna ask me which form I want to prepare. Now I am on a Mac and that is why it is asking me this, but I believe if you are using um, Acrobat Pro DC on the Windows environment on a PC, it will not ask you if you want to select um, a particular file. So we're gonna use this document, click start, and you see once I prepare form and do that function, it is already trying to read everything within this form that it thinks I'm going to want to fill in. And for the most part, it's right. These are the parts that I do want to fill in. But what happens if there's a section in here that isn't pre-filled out for you? You want people to be able to enter certain data in that information. Case in point, we have some boxes over here and there's no fillable way right now for people to enter data in there. Let's change that. We have a little icon up here for add checkboxes to enable selection from one or more options. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that option. And I am going to place it right over this box right here. It says check box one, and we're just going to rename that for field trip driver box. I'm gonna give a little bit more definition of what this box is for. When someone hovers over that box, um, when filling out this fillable PDF, they are gonna see that information um, for this field. Let me just move where I'm at really quick, but you can see right there on the right-hand side, field trip driver box, and that's filled in right there in that section. So when this person goes in here, they're gonna now have a box to check right there. Now I can click this icon again, and I could put another one over here some arts and crafts here and do classroom helper box. That is preparing this form. There's other little icons up here. You can enter some text in here. You can do a drop down, a list of choices. 
Um, there's, you can have a barcode in here, a signature field in here. There's all sorts of things that you can do in your prepare form. And I would highly recommend that you take a look at all of these features in here and really fine tune all of your forms. I mean, if you're wanting people to fill them in in a certain way, make it a fillable form. Don't just send them a PDF and expect them to print it and fill it out and scan it and send it back to you. Or, you know, even if you think they're tech savvy, don't ask them to edit the form and add in text and then add in the text. Make it a fillable PDF um, so you have a little bit more control over that information. Now, going over the, the fillable items that it pre-prepared for us, what if it didn't do that? What if it didn't give us a first name for that box? Let's act as if it didn't. Um, and let's say that they uh, didn't go ahead and give us the, that box. So I want to click this icon right here, which is add a text field. So we're gonna add that text field after we click that icon and add it right in here. We're gonna play a little bit of arts and crafts. We're gonna expand that area about right to, let's see, here. And in that text, we'll say, actually brought it over here. I'm going to here. So name, we're going to say first name. And you can see other properties that are available to you right here in this fillable form. So this is just the general information. This changes it from text three, and it's going to change it to first name. You can change the way it appears right now. It's in font size 12, font Helvetica, text color is black. You can choose the position that you actually want it within there. You can choose whether or not you want it to align to the left or you want it centered. I actually want this centered. So we'll just put it right there or we can change it aligned to the left because I bet you the last name is aligned to the left as well. All right, we can do a character limitation if we want to. Um, we can add multi-line if we want to. Multi-line is, you know, some people download court forms and they're starting to fill in the information and they notice that either they stop, um, the, the text stops completely or it keeps going and it cuts off the left side. Um, and it's because that multi-line option in the fillable form is not checked or there might be a character limitation as well. So there's actions. People don't usually um, go on past this because then, you know, you're really getting into um, some other things. And I don't speak that much geek, to be quite frank with you. <laughs> so tool tip, um, tool tip right here in general is also when you hover over that field, tool tip will be the tip that it gives the end user on that fillable form for that particular field. So I can put tool tip right here, enter your first name. And when they hover over this section, that's what they'll see, enter your first name. All right, I'm gonna click close. Now let's take a look at how to duplicate that information. Particularly on this form, we're not gonna to wanna to duplicate any information, but just for the sake of this tutorial and so we don't have to show you another form, we're just gonna quickly see how this action works. Okay, so I have a first name here. We just applied that and maybe, just maybe somewhere down on this form, I want that first name to appear right here as well. Right after I'm done typing it in this section, I want it to appear in this section right here. What I want you to do, and this is so simple, I just want you to right click, I want you to copy it, I want you to go down to that section, paste it. Now, it might not paste it right there in that section, and if it doesn't, that's okay. I want you to change it. You have the ability to modify it, just going to modify this a little bit. All right. And it still says first name. It says first name, just like that one. It says first name, first name. All right. We're going to go ahead and close this fillable form edit format right here. You see preview and close right at per. We're going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to show you how this information duplicates on both of these line items. Close. 
you see how we have some check boxes right here, right? Those are the check boxes that we added. We can check them and uncheck them. But here we've got a first name and I'm gonna type Misty. And there you see, it also duplicated that down here where it says Misty. As soon as I typed it in here and clicked enter or you click tab or you click out of that field, it will duplicate that right here in the other one where I just copied over that information. Customize the user experience by modifying um, the fillable form information by going into prepare form and taking a look at all of these other things here. Now, you can adjust any of these. You can just right click, click properties, and you can adjust any of this. So right here, it says address under tooltip. So we'll say, Type your address. Close that. I'm gonna close that. And when we hover over this, let's see, address. It says type your address because that's what we changed it to read in that tooltip. It doesn't just say address. It gave them a little bit more information on filling out this form. So basically, that is how you prepare a PDF for fillable format. And even if your form is already prepared um, for fillable format, these are the ways that you can modify that fillable format page. Of course, that is if you have permissions. And also, last but not least, we learned today how to duplicate that information that we enter in one line and make sure that it gets put in in another line. Maybe it's the same information, so we don't have to constantly re-enter that information. Remember that if you are changing anything that's form, template, standard, structure to your organization, save it in a place that your entire organization can get to that. For me, it is my team communication site in the Microsoft 365 SharePoint environment. Thanks for joining me today in this video and don't forget to check out the description box below and all the links that I offer regarding my masterclass, regarding the litigation e-course, regarding coaching opportunities and one-on-one -on -one sessions. There's a little something down there for everyone. Of course, good luck to you and all that you do because this crazy legal industry needs an amazing paralegal boss just like you. Have an awesome rest of your day. Have a wonderful week ahead of you. And I will see you guys back here on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.